Welcome to our lecture online. So now it's time to find the z unit vector in terms of r, theta, and phi. The approach is about the same as before when we tried to find the x and the y unit vector, but let's take a look here and see. Notice on the right side we have the cosine of theta z unit vector minus the sine of theta z unit vector. So if we multiply the top equation by the cosine of theta and the bottom equation by the sine of theta and then we subtract the two equations, then we end up with the cosine square of theta plus the sine square of theta times the z unit vector, which is basically 1 times the z unit vector. So what I'm saying here is, let's go ahead and multiply the top equation by the cosine of theta and the bottom equation by the sine of theta. And then we subtract one from the other, the second equation from the first equation, and that will give us the z unit vector by itself. So what does this look like? The top equation becomes the cosine of theta times the r unit vector is equal to the sine of theta times the cosine of theta times the cosine of phi x unit vector plus here we get the sine of theta cosine of theta sine of phi y unit vector plus the cosine square of theta z unit vector and hopefully the other two unit vectors will drop out. We'll see what happens. So we have the sine of theta times the theta unit vector is equal to, here we end up with the sine of theta cosine of theta cosine of phi x unit vector. Notice they look exactly the same so when we subtract one from the other they cancel out. And here we have plus we have the sine of theta cosine of theta sine of phi y unit vector and again they look exactly the same so subtracting this from this the y unit vectors cancel out minus the sine square of theta z unit vector so now you can see when we subtract the second equation from the first equation we're going to end up with what we're looking for so here on the left side we end up with the cosine of theta r unit vector minus the sine of theta theta unit vector equals. Th this minus this gives a zero x unit vector, so let's write it like this, zero x unit vector plus zero y unit vector plus here end up with the cosine square of theta minus the, oh, not minus because we're subtracting, so plus the sine square of theta times the z unit vector. And then you can clearly see that we end up with the cosine theta r unit vector minus the sine of theta theta unit vector equals the z unit vector. So a fairly simplistic equation for the z unit vector in terms of r and theta, and that is how it's done. It did it. Well, let's find out if it's correct first before you okay. yell victory. <laughs> Cosine of theta minus sine theta. Yep, that looks like the right answer. Victory.